Now, if you want to be able to stream out to more than one location at a time, you can do that using Restream's integration into Ecamm. So unlike going out to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, where you just log in and you go out to that one platform, we can go out through a third party app called Restream. I'll show you that in a second. And you can actually choose multiple locations to go to it all goes out at once. The chat all comes back into your feed here in Ecamm. Uh, it's a great way to live stream. Certainly if you find you've got uh, audiences on different platforms and you can't decide which is the one that you should go to, uh, I use this all the time and find it great to be able to just uh, go out to them all at once. So first of all, uh, where do we find that? Well, it's under these top tier uh, integrated platforms. We come down here, we've got Restream and then Switchboard Live. Uh, I don't have any experience with Switchboard Live. It's pretty much the same thing as Restream. So I'm gonna take you through Restream. If you need Switchboard, uh, hopefully you'll find it pretty intuitive just following this one through. So Restream up here. Now, before we get down to this next line, we need to jump over to Restream and just have a look at it. So firstly, when you come over here, Restream.io, come onto their pricing page over here. Let me just explain to you what you get. If you're, you can either choose monthly or annually. Personally, I'm holding on for Ecamm not being too far away from being able to build this into uh, Ecamm itself and we won't need to be using Restream. I'd like to think that you don't need a year's plan on Restream because before that year's up, uh, you won't be needing to use Restream anymore. Maybe I'm optimistic. So I would tick the monthly plan and tick along with this for the time being. Now there is a free plan that will get you going. It will let you have a start with it, um, but there are some real limitations on the free plan. The standard plan is the next one up. That would be the one that I would recommend most people would be using. Uh, the reason being on the free plan, as you see down here, you can't stream to Facebook pages or groups. You can only go out to your personal profile and that's not likely to be where you wanna go. So if you wanna to go to a Facebook page or a group, you need to be on this next plan up. Now don't worry about where it says about being able to stream pre-recorded videos. We're not gonna do that. We're going straight through Ecamm into this. Um, we don't need it to be recording. We don't need any of those features. Uh, so you do wanna be jumping in on this standard plan. Now, once you're in, you will have a dashboard. And uh, the idea is, so these are my channels, my YouTube channels in here, my Facebook page, and then two Facebook groups that are in here. So if I want to add a channel, I've got all of these options that I can choose from. Never heard of most of them. And then these are my groups down here so I can connect to Facebook and uh, it shows me at the top my pages and then keep coming down and you can see all those different groups. And so that was the one I connected to earlier, test group. So I can save this. It's telling me, it's reminding me that in the same way that we did when we hooked up uh, Ecamm to Facebook, we needed to put the app in. We've got to do exactly the same thing. So add the Restream app to that Facebook group. Come down to the bottom to apps, add apps. I actually need to add Ecamm to this one anyway. And then again, let's come right to the bottom to apps, add an app, restream. There it is. So I've just added those two apps to it, which means it will let me stream out to them now. So what I can do in here, I kind of need to open this page up first. If I want to put a title, say I want to go out to YouTube, to my Facebook page and to this new test group all at once. I can unselect the other ones that I don't want. So the ones that are selected, YouTube, Facebook, and the test group down here. I can update the titles. It's actually got test live written in there. Let's keep that. Update all. So they've now all been given a new title. And so if I back in Ecamm hit go live, it'll go live into those three selected groups and it will carry across that title uh, and out we go live. Now, uh, a, a fairly recent update with Restream is we are now able to schedule these. We never used to be able to schedule when we used to want to multi-stream through Restream, but now it says new Restream event and Ecamm will automatically open up my window over here in Restream and I can say create event, schedule a live stream, scheduled Restream test, schedule for later, yes. We want this to be 31st. Uh, let's keep the time the same. So again, I can upload an image if I want to. Uh, let's choose the same one that we used on previous examples. So let me crop that. I hit next. 
And now where do I want this to go? So we can just turn on and off the locations that we want or don't want. So I don't want it to go into that group or that group or that group. I just want this to go out to my pages. The reason I would put this out onto pages, you know, they can be boosted out from there. Then it's easier for audiences to find them, um, for people to share it out with other people. I tend to go out to pages if it's a public thing. If it's something that's for my group, my uh, those that have come and joined a membership, then I would specifically go into one of those groups. But typically when I'm multi-streaming like this, it would be out in public places. Now, if I'd got LinkedIn, that's another option that I can do through here. So actually it could also go out through this restream if I want that to be included into a multi-stream rather than just going out to LinkedIn. So I can create this event. I am going to need to cancel this afterwards. So it's clever the way Ecamm and Restream have worked together on this one. So it's now sitting here in Restream's control panel saying, hey, look, you've got this scheduled event coming up. And now when I come back to Ecamm and I look down here, look, there's my scheduled Restream event telling me in one day. And that will count down in exactly the same way that it would for Facebook or YouTube. Uh, so this is great. This was a real game changer when in 2020 they introduced this. Um, yeah, I love this. This is one of the drawbacks for me of multi-streaming was the fact that we couldn't schedule it through Restream. They've added it in. Um, so it's not actually natively done with an Ecamm. You need to open up the Restream window, schedule it over there, but it absolutely works fine. Okay, now we can't leave that there, can we? Uh, we've put into YouTube, to Facebook, that we're doing this test live. Uh, what I might just do is update that a little bit more. So I'm just putting a little note in there uh, because People will spot this and um, let's have a look. So I've just put there my title, demo live for an Ecamm and Restream tutorial. So bear in mind, uh, this will only get seen on YouTube. Facebook won't see this title. Um, so I am gonna put that same thing back in at the top of the description. Demo live for an Ecamm and Restream tutorial. If you jump on the live, please say hi. This is a demo for our updated Ecamm video series. You could be famous. <laughs> a bit of fun there. All right, so we update all. So YouTube, Facebook, and our group. And let's see what happens with this chat then. So we're gonna go live and um, let's see what happens. Uh, now I'm just gonna jump over to our test group and have a look in here. And I'm gonna be able to see this show up on the live in a second. Here we are, so I can comment in here. Hi from the Facebook group. Can also give some thumbs over here. So there we go, we get this icon come in from a Facebook user. So it's limited and restricted because it's coming from a group. Uh, it's not gonna wanna share that content out with me the same way. So we've got five eyes on, Pordrig's on. Hello, how are things? Doing really well, thank you. So see how Pordrig's comes in from YouTube and we've got this little YouTube icon down in the bottom corner. The rest of it, there's Owen who's on on YouTube as well. So you can see again the uh, little YouTube comments. We'll see if anybody's coming on from Facebook. Um, here's Paul McIntyre and Chad coming on from Facebook. Fantastic. Uh, so just notice the difference there. Katie's on. Uh, we can bring these in. Uh, Johan's on. Ray's on. Awesome. Uh, Tim Lord's on. Cool. <laughs> Love it. All right. So thank you so much. Um, this is how this is coming in then, and you can just see the power of this. You know, we've got a complete mixed, uh, well, we'll look at the stats in a minute on Restream. Um, thank you for being my guinea pigs. You guys just made it into the new series of tutorials. So I'm gonna finish and edit that, a little bit abrupt. Uh, they'll all forgive me. But you can see there how that works then. We pulled all that chat in over there. And um, yeah, I think it's a great way to go. Now, I did just say, let's have a look if I, Come back to my Restream dashboard. If I come to the bottom of here and I can come up to my analytics and let's have a look at the last session. So we had um, one person on from the test group. We had 22 from Facebook and we had six from YouTube. So you can see you're getting a mixture there of different audiences. Get some good stats in here as well. You can see where the, the chats came from, from Facebook or from uh, YouTube down here. Uh, yeah, just uh, some good information to get from that. Typically in the past when we've looked on there, so actually yes, yeah, 76% were Facebook, 23 were from YouTube. We've seen that be 50-50 as a split. And uh, it just makes us go 
If we only went to Facebook, we'd have missed out on those YouTube folk. If we'd have done the same with YouTube, we'd have missed Facebook. So you can see the value and the benefit of doing that. And as you can see, you know, from either side, they're able to chat and comment away in here. And I think it's the guys on Facebook that can see the YouTube chat. It's one way or the other, I keep getting it wrong. Uh, hopefully that will improve. I love the idea that those on Facebook can see when people on YouTube are commenting. Um, for now, it just means that I need to keep dragging those comments up onto screen and uh, they'll all be able to see each other. So that's how we would do that, both going live to restream and scheduling to restream. And yeah, that gets a, a big tick from me. Definitely the way that we do ours if we've got an announcement or a big post that we want to put out. Uh, why not go out to the multiple platforms at once? So that's Restream. Uh, let us know in the comments any questions you've got about it or have a go at it and let us know how you get on. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I think this is a great way to live stream. What do you think? Okay, see you in another video.